All right, let's talk more specifically about music, uh, either editing music or composing music to a pre-existing uh, film or video clip here. So there's a couple ways to go about this. Um, let's start with drones and pads. These are more kind of abstract uh, drones. Drones are just low-pitched kind of sustaining sounds or music beds are more musical notes. So what I've done is I have uh, come up with an example here. I'm using my contact player, but you could use something like Expand or the Falcon that comes with Pro Tools. That works great. So here is just more of kind of a happy kind of take at it or just kind of a more positive using major chords like a one, four, and five thing uh, of just kind of some drones and pads. Let's check this out. Oops, let's unmute that. Yeah, and so that was done without a click or anything, and I'm just using kind of one, four, five chord voicings here, and I'm using this um, uh, Evolve Mutations from Contact Player, but you know you could get any pad <coughs> or a drone in Expand would be would be excellent for this same thing. So here's another take on it. I just did another version of this, just kind of more evil or sinister, you could call it, using the kind of the same thing but a different patch. Uh, this is kind of an atonal type of patch. And I think I did single notes on this. Let's check this out. A little pause here. So yeah, just maybe a little bit more creepy there, maybe some foreshadowing. Um, again, not to a tempo. You could you also use a tempo for uh, uh, these compositions, or you could do kind of more of a traditional music composition such as this. This one was rendered. So if you guys are using instrument tracks, you should always commit them to render them. And to do that, let me just render this one as an example. Right-click on the track and commit. And I like to uh, make inactive. And it's just going to, all it's going to do is going to render that to an audio file. I know what that warning message was there. It was kind of funny. But that should have rendered this right here. Where is that? Right here. I think it muted it. And I can turn that up a little bit. There we go. Wanted to be a little bit louder. That's even more creepy, right? So... Yeah, it was really quiet before, but but music is usually kind of not the main thing. It's kind of part of the whole theatrical production. So that's committing that. So I just kind of committed that track. You should do that to any MIDI you have as a final step to kind of just print it out. Because when you switch around sessions and stuff, you may not have the same plugins installed on different computers. And it's always great to have a printout. Um, so I showed you the more hopeful one, kind of drone or music pad or the more sinister one. That's great didn't really get much into tempo but you could do that where you would just kind of clock out the tempo set a starting tempo um and all that i didn't even talk about spotting but in this case i didn't get so detailed but i could have mapped out uh what you guys should do is map out where you want things to come in where it should uh what's going to happen is it going to speed up are there going to be any hit points hit points would be like musical accents like where things would climax um so another approach if you didn't want to compose um, would be music editing. We'll get to that in a minute. But here's two drones and pads that are just kind of abstract, sustained sounds. 
Here is a example of, uh, this is co custom composed uh, to this piece of work. And it, it's kind of, uh, again, on the dark side, that's these three tracks right here. Let's play some of those. And it's got a, a sustaining piano ostinato, um, some strings, and some violins. Let's check this out. It's very, very mixed in the background. Probably too, too much in the background. Oh, it's because it's muted here. Let's try that again. There we go. So that was great. So that is that is three parts. It definitely has a tempo, um, and you could just choose a tempo if you'd like to. And we talked a little about identify beat, but you could select any two points like this, and then identify beat, and say you could start to choose a bar. So you could have like a, a start point and end point, and have the exact amount of measures that you would want between the two points. Um, if you wanted to get a little bit more advanced, the tempo. You could start to drag this around. You got to be careful, though. You want to do this before you kind of um, before you would start to do anything. Like if you were gonna drag the tempo around, you definitely want to do that before you start. But if I wanted to drag this around, all my MIDI is going to start to stretch around like that. See that? You got to be really careful with that. So do that before do that before you start to compose. But you could select two points and then. Um, so, and then do an identify beat. For example, let's say, I don't know, I wanted to select between here and there, just two random points, and these timings are going to be very random. I would do command I, identify beat. Let's say I wanted this to be measure one, and it's going to be four, four, and I want 20 measures or something. It's going to be a faster tempo because I'm cramming more space in there. Let's see what it says. And now it's 154. So you could basically. Uh, Determine your tempo by how many bars you would have too. So you can get very uh, detailed with this, but it also stretched this. So I'm going to undo that and, and step back. So yeah, you could you could choose the tempo uh, if you wanted to. So if all this composing stuff is a little bit much for you, I'd probably do the drone, like the drone and pad there. That's a great approach, the drone and pads that I was creating there. Um, another approach is to find pre-existing music and cut it in there. That'd be music editing. And that's the other alternative to this assignment, totally legitimate. So what I found are two pieces of music here that I thought fit pretty well. And I have a bunch of soundtracks here, but you can find a soundtrack, you know, pretty much anywhere. Pull it off YouTube, YouTube, YouTube to MP3, download that. Uh, or any music you can find anywhere. Classical music works great for this. Um, so if you want to score something, that's great. But if you want to edit, that's what I did here. I also used what's called a sync point. See this little, these little triangles right here? Those little triangles, that's a sync point. You can only have one of them in an audio clip, but it's kind of like a, a marker point. So let's say I wanted a sync point on this one. Uh, I marked in right there. Clip, identify sync point or, or, or command comma. And it just puts a little it puts a little triangle there. And just like a marker point to identify something. So that was command comma. And I believe you can only have one of these on a clip. But these are great to just kind of have a little pointer to say, okay, I want there to have something. So this would be kind of like a climax. And so I set up this one here. I believe this is music from Twin Peaks, if you guys know what that is. It's a really weird series. Uh, and this is great. It had wind in there before. So this is the music from Twin Peaks. But it builds up really nicely right here. So I use the sync point.
I just faded out there, but you get the idea there. So here's another one that I thought fit well. And it's kind of put them in there, but you can get really, depending on the dramatic content, how long your piece is, you could chop up the best excerpts of music. I didn't do that here, but you could chop it up and then stitch that together, do some crossfades. But here's another take on that. This is nice because it leaves a little bit of space. So those are some different takes on it. We can edit music. You can chop things up. You can stitch them together. You can do some crossfades. You could compose stuff with drones and pads here like I did. Pretty much not even to a click. I just kind of was holding down major chords in this one. And then other one, it was, it was a little bit darker. Uh, this one here was kind of funny. I like playing this again. Let's play that again. It's kind of fun. Yeah, so that one's kind of creepy. Um, so drones and pads are a great way to go. Music editing, if you don't want the musical challenge of composing, which is quite challenging. Um, or, you know, set your tempo and then just compose something. So you want to set markers there. You want a spot, as we were describing in the previous videos. You want a spot for the music. You want a spot for sound effects. You want to add some sound effects here. You want to have multiple layers of backgrounds. In this one, we have got two layers of, uh, like, sorry, one layer of wind birds and then the flag flapping so look at the rubric there uh to uh set it up and so here is also a reverb used in parallel and we're using we're sending things over there in parallel so that's a requirement as well so that should work out quite well so have fun uh writing composing music scoring or editing music or using drones and pads all of those are totally valid options to uh, add some uh, dramatic flair to this to a video.